also home to a lot of amphibians and reptiles. The reptiles and amphibians. Amphibians. Amphibians, reptiles. All kind of reptiles, uh, amphibians. And the reptiles and amphibians. The snakes and salamanders, the turtles, the frogs and toads. The snakes and lizards and frogs and other amphibians. More turtles here than the other ones. We've actually seen alligators in here before, small ones. Um, all different kinds of turtles, there's different kinds of lizards, toads, frogs. Uh, salamanders, anoles, uh, frogs, snakes, uh, alligators. Bog turtle, leopard frogs, uh, spotted turtles, you know, those are sort of rare. Snapping turtles, red belly and banded water snakes. Southern leopard frogs, um, green tree frogs, squirrel tree frogs, um, cricket frogs, turtles, snapping turtles, box turtles, yellow belly sliders, there's many, many turtles. Brown water snakes are very common. Red belly water snakes are also common. Occasionally, a cottonmouth or a water moccasin um, is commonly referred to. Salamanders and uh, water snakes, as well as tree frogs, toads, and lots of critters that are really indicative of a healthy uh, freshwater wetland area. We have a, a pretty wide diversity of birds. 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 Unusual birds. Birds. Herons and egrets out in the marsh. Uh, we have a lot of great blue herons and snowy egrets and the great egrets. Uh, also a lot of rails, clapper rails. The tundra swans, um, northern pintails with wading birds, long-legged wading birds, breeding ospreys, secret of marsh birds. We have Virginia rail, um, yellow rail, we have a lot of waterfowl that come here in the winter. This is kind of a wintering and resting and feeding area for ducks and geese. And then we have a lot of wading bird action. We get uh, egrets, we get great blue heron, little green heron. Sometimes we'll have bitterns. Like we'll see uh, all sorts of ducks come through here, we'll see coots, mallards, things like that. During the springtime with all of the migration of the waterfowl, um, just <sighs> Having that beautiful sunset with all the waterfowl coming in and roosting in the wetlands, breathtaking. Now closer to the marsh, you might see things like beaver. If you're quiet enough, you'll actually hear the beavers um, working, especially at dusk. You may see a nutria or two. Nutria, which is a South American species. Uh, we have a wide variety of mammals, our largest mammal being white-tailed deer. Down to we have um, red fox. From the white-tailed deer to river otters. Um, and we have documented both bobcats and coyotes in the woods. Deer will running across and coyotes. And white-tailed deer, um, fox, black bears. White-tailed deer, like the black bear, and coyotes and bobcats. We have a healthy black bear population around here. There's also a lot of deer. Yeah, there's bear here, deer, foxes, raccoons. Desmal Swamp has one of the biggest population of black bear in the country. Uh, we have lots and lots of white-tailed deer. Uh, raccoon, you might see a fox, a beaver. We have black bears, Nutria, we have muskrats, beavers. Um, the beaver, of course, benefits from the wetland and, and uh, otters, raccoon. Raccoons, possums, white-tailed deer, black bear, fox, all, all sorts of different animals. So we have a, an abundance of wildlife here that, that you can experience for sure. This area is just really teeming with wildlife. So it's a wide variety of animals are using the marsh and uh, it's just, it's basically breathtaking to sit here and look at it and just take the time to notice all the wildlife around you.